Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven here, and I know it has been a while since I've uploaded, and I'm sorry. That is because this past week I was in Hawaii, and I really did try to record um, videos in advance to pre record um, before I left so that I could just schedule them to upload while I was away. But I couldn't do that because my phone decided to be an annoying little bitch and be like, oh, you don't have enough storage to record anything or take any pictures. I was just like, you suck. Phone, you suck. But I am back now and I cleared up a good amount of my storage. So hopefully I can get some videos up to you guys. Um, but yeah, so this video is going to be... Um, me talking about video games that are coming out soon, or one of them has actually already come out, <laughs> kind of, um, that I'm really, really excited for because I always try to, I always try to be a little bit in the know. I'm usually not that good at it, but a little bit in the know about what's going on in the video game community because I like to know about these things. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get into the video. So, a little bit before I left for Hawaii, I had been watching a lot of YouTubers play Kindergarten. Jacksepticeye, Bad Pat and Steph, Ice Cupquake, Gamerette, lots of YouTubers. Despite it being a, a fucked up game, it's great, and I love it. And it's already been confirmed that there is going to be a sequel, Kindergarten 2, and whenever that may come out, I am very excited. You guys probably already know that I am a huge fan of the Uncharted series. And if you don't know, <laughs> now you know. But what you probably didn't know was that Nadine, one of the main character one of the main characters in The Lost Legacy, is one of my favorite or was one of my favorite antagonists in Uncharted 4. She was just so badass. I loved it. I also really love Chloe Frazier, the other main character of The Lost Legacy, so I'm pumped to see that the two are in a game together. And I'm excited to see if there are going to be any returning characters from the entire universe in this game, or any mention of characters like Nate, Sully, Elena, or Sam. I really liked Minecraft Story Mode, especially after replaying it um, for the first time on my own. I have a newfound appreciation for the ending. I believe I actually mentioned this in the video before but I'm just going to say it again because I can. Um, and now that I know that, well, I already knew prior to this that there was a second season coming out, but as I'm recording this, the first episode of season two of Minecraft Story Mode is already out, and I already watched Dan TDM play through all of the episode, and I love it, and I'm so excited for the rest of the season. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited, I can't. I'm really excited. For a while, and I mean a good while, before I discovered Tales of Exilia and realized its magnificence, Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch was my favorite game of all time. And you better believe I was so excited when I heard the when I first heard the announcement that there is going to be a second Nino Kuni. Although the game is going to be featuring a new cast of characters. In an interview with this guy, whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce because you know I suck with pronunciation, he kind of dropped a little bit of a hint that some characters from the first game may return or at least be referenced, though he wasn't allowed to say which. Let me just say, the ending of Life is Strange got me so messed up, like, you don't even know. Anyway, I loved that game to death, and when Don't Nod confirmed that there was going to be a sequel to Life is Strange, I jumped up and down and ran all around my room. I looked like a crazy person, but that's okay because I was all alone. And then when they hit me with the Life is Strange before the storm trailer, the prequel, pre pre prequel, <laughs> damn, I can't say anything right. I literally texted my best friend and I was like, girl, did you see this trailer? And she was like, oh my God. And we just kind of went back and forth in that kind of language. Yeah. I know that in Life is Strange 2, it won't have Max and Chloe and instead a new cast of characters. But, I mean, that's okay, given the two very different endings of the first game. And I know that some people aren't okay with the fact that Ashley Birch doesn't voice Chloe in the prequel. But I like the different voice actress, so you won't see any, any complaints from me on that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
This whole rest of the week is gonna be a little weird for my uploading because I still have to get caught up with all the videos that should have gone up last week but didn't go up and now I have to film them all and in addition with the videos that I was supposed to go up with this week and it's just a whole mess and you know what but but you know we're, we're gonna get through this we'll get through this together so yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye guys